Hey everyone, I know it's been a very long time since we've seen each other and I'm going to show and explain everything in this video. But before I do, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching and thank you for writing all those lovely comments. It's so much fun to read them. But three years ago, I left the Netherlands to move to the northern parts of Sweden. And this all felt like a call of my spirit, a call to reconnect to who I am and what I fundamentally need in this life and what I want to do with this life that I've been given. And it also awakened part of feeling free again, feeling free in what I do, but also feeling free in this life. And I've always felt like a traveler, but my life never allowed me to travel much or Better said, I never allowed myself to travel because I always felt anxiety about doing something that was different to leave my comfort zone. And so this spring I felt it was the time to finally do what I've been longing for for so many years and that is to travel. So I packed my caravan and I left to travel around and see where the road, where the nature, where life, where the wind takes me. And I'm taking you along with me on this journey through the spring, the summer, the fall, the winter. And I share with you what I feel, what I experience. And I really feel that leaving my comfort zone, leaving my safety net behind, is something that makes me grow not only as a person but also is something that is deeply connected to my soul.
tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday I'm very, very, very happy it stopped raining. It makes life just a little bit easier. Hopefully the sun comes through today so some stuff can dry up. And what do you want to do today, Manny? You don't care? What do you want to do today? Do you want to go up the mountain? Or do you want to go to the lake? Should we explore the forest there again? Or do you just want this stick? Do you want a stick? My beautiful weirdo. What else do you need in this life? When you have food, nature, and the best companion a man can ask for. What else do you actually need? I'm going to eat some breakfast. Should we walk after that? Do you want to walk after that? I think we take the camera back and should we go to the waterfall? Did you like it there? There where we saw the moose. Should we go there? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, shake on it. Then we do that, deal. Deal, Manny.
I'm out in the shadows and I feel unborn My head is spinning and my thoughts are torn Spirit is telling me to go back home I ain't got no roots, man, I'm all alone And the moon is telling me the sun just died He watches me through the trees again And whispers words I don't understand you see colors in the dark You better close your eyes and protect your heart Or the moon will tell you that the sun just died The moon will tell you that the sun just died I am no one, don't call me son I got no father, I got no mom Stand in silence, your soul will fly I was born on the rainy sky If you ask me, I may wait By that time it is too late Then I will be dead and gone And the burning folks will sing my song And the moon will tell you that the sun
This tree actually surprised me the most in fertility in medicine. These buds that you see here, there's red buds, they actually contain the pollen. And these, before they get the pollen, before they dry out, you can pickle and put them in salads and they contain so much nutrition. And of course, also in the spring, they get these spruce tips, which you can eat, make tea of, make uh, a jam of, or um, like a very nice drink. But also you see on this tree, there's usnea that's growing. On the bark, you can harvest the resin. So this tree is really one that gives us so much. And if you can see that, then you see this whole ecosystem within one tree, so much medicine that we can harvest from one tree only. As long as I can remember, I've always run away from society, with this fast pace of life and constant noises, the comparing and need for external expansion in materialism. I didn't feel at home between the bricks that built the cities, nor did I feel comfort by being surrounded by the people. The city drained me. It drained me so much that after a day in the city, my body and nervous system shut down. I felt sick and my mood changed. It made me feel weak. Being highly sensitive is a blessing that guided me through the world of herbs and the energies within nature, but it also shut me down, being unable to deal with the normal life of society. In a way, I still felt I was running away, unable to deal with the stresses of this life. And with the tools I learned in nature, be grounded as a tree, but move as water. Let the wind carry you and focus on what lies within. I felt it was time to learn to silence the world around me, not by running away, but to focus the mind and let it all become silent. <laughs>
Hey Manny, did you know that we can mostly make these videos because of our Patreons and that I'm very, very, very grateful for them, but also that I get to know them on a more personal level and that we can share so much more about herbs and energy and our life here. But I actually want to ask you guys for help because Manny is soon turning 10 in August and I want to give him the best birthday ever. He's always been by my side through the hard times and through beautiful times. He's always been there. And I just really, really want to give him the best birthday ever with all the things he loves and make a video about him, my ode to many. And maybe even a song if we can make that happen, of course. So if you want to support me in giving many the best birthday ever, and also of course support this channel, then you can go to the Patreon page and the link is in the description and yeah, support us because now we need it more than ever. So I wish you so much love from this beautiful, magical forest and we'll see each other very soon.